Good morning and happy new year. It is our first day back at the gym from the new year. We work out because of my schedule for work and everything else I do. We work out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So today's Thursday, so we're going to be working out today. It's our first day back at the gym since the new year. So I guess we'll see if it's busy or not. Hopefully it's not at this hour. It's what, 9 o'clock in the morning? So... Hopefully not. Just getting a little breakfast in there. This is um, non-fat Greek yogurt, plain. And then Shay puts in a what is it? A sugar-free, a sugar-free Jello packet in there to give it some flavor. And it's so good. And then this is what I'm using today for my pre-workout. <coughs> I bought two tubs of this. This is my last tub, so this is the end of it. So, sad day, but this is what I'm using today for pre-workout. Alright, so honestly, one of the best things about New Year's, other than, you know, the party and, and starting a new year, is the weekly or the 12-week, 8-week programs that are coming out for these New Year's challenges. I'm not saying you have to do these things, but I like to do them because they motivate me to to go do it because I'm competing and I'm, I'm a competitor. So I, I like to compete against other people. So this kind of just motivates me and pushes me to get up and going again and get into the routine. So that's what we're doing. We're going to be doing the eight week challenge with fitness culture. Of course, you guys know that I love fitness culture, the app, um, and he's running an eight week challenge and so we will be joining that um i think we're going to be starting that next week though so we can hit the timelines this weekend i'm heading out of town um so we're going to start that next week and then that will be right before we go on our spring break vacay with our family so i think the timing will be great on that so let's head to the gym let's get going i don't think the car was started so it might be a little chilly but let's go
take it with you so you have time to find things at the gym. Alright, that's it. Hour. Hour five. Gym. Good first day back. Oh, so strong. That was hard. First workout of the year, over. Post workout meal, we're just going. We did a couple quick oats, and then I do a scoop of my protein powder, which is ghost cinnamon, which I love because I love cinnamon. So this is amazing. This is easy. We just make it dry. I could take it to work. I could have it after workouts, but it's filling oatmeal. I have my protein in it. It's good. And then I get a cup of greens. And I'm using the Ghost Greens. This is guava berry, so good. So I've had a lot of different types of greens. I've tried a different types of brands because obviously greens are good for you. You wanna get your, your dose of vegetables and greens and all that good stuff. So I've tried a bunch of different ones. Ghost is literally the best tasting one that, that I've found. Um, I love the way it tastes. I can sip on it, honestly, and it's good. Like, it's really good, so. I've tried multiple flavors. I love guava berry. I have like apple cider, which they come out during the holidays. Um, but yeah, this is this is the greens that I go with. Um, easy peasy. It's it's good. Not sponsored by Ghost yet, but I love them. And then of course, just coffee with some creamer in there. So we're not starting our eight week transformation yet. We're going to be starting it in the next week or so um next thursday probably but i don't want to go in like without a couple of weeks under my belt especially especially with diet diet's hard um when you're used to eating out and going out and doing things i think that if you're going to be starting something start with your diet i know it seems like it, the best thing to do is to start with going to the gym and getting to the gym and starting that habit first but honestly Switching out one of your meals for a really healthy meal or a meal that should be on your diet plan It's probably gonna be the easiest thing. Just one meal Now uh, make sure you know I got breakfast. This is breakfast right here I know that I'm in my my macros right now and I'm doing it and even if like later on I'm not a hundred percent in my macros or we go out to eat or whatever I'm I'm still hitting something. And so to start this week, like eating good, eating a good lunch or eating a good breakfast, eating a good dinner, and then still having something, you know, not being 100% yet, I think it helps you when the time comes so that you're just not hitting it cold turkey. Because that's one of the things that when I start like an eight week challenge or a new diet or whatever, if I am like, I'm gonna eat all this crap I'm gonna eat all this crap until I go and so I can, you know, and then I'll lose it all. I have a harder time adjusting my my mindset into going into healthy foods, eating better, how much I should be eating and stuff like that. So if I ease into it and then we start next Thursday, I feel like I'll be ahead and maybe my body will adjust to it. I don't know, I don't know. But in this program, this eight week program, the the prize is five thousand dollars like if you win and this was going to be different than the last one that i did the last one was just you had to be consistent you had to work out every week you had to do a check-in every week you had to do your measurements and and that was what the contest based off of and it was a random draw of 10 people and i ended up winning one of those which is awesome i won a thousand dollars from fitness culture for being consistent doing it for eight weeks being consistent and doing the workouts this one is a little bit different. So this one is not only do you have to do the workouts 
for eight weeks and do a check-in but this one is a transformation one so we have to take pictures we have to the and the winner is going to be the one that has the biggest change. So the prize on this one is a lot bigger. It's five thousand dollars for the winner with the biggest transformation, and that's weight loss or muscle gain or definition or whatever it is. And then I think second place is like two thousand dollars, and then there's a bunch of. Then I think it's like one thousand dollars or five hundred dollars, and then it goes into like a bunch of a hundred dollar prizes um, for ten people. So. This one's a little bit different. It's going to be a lot more like making sure we're on track, making sure shit's done. Um, and then Shay actually entered this one too. She put her money in on this one too so we can both do it and both have the chance at the $5,000. And I think doing it this way too will hold us both accountable. And I think it will help me more than it will help her. She's pretty good at what she does and eating and she she really doesn't need to lose weight. She wants to gain muscle and, and tone up, which is awesome. But for me, like if I'm the only one eating healthy in the house, sometimes it gets hard. So with both of us doing it, I think we'll hold each other accountable and know that like $5,000 is on the line. So, and that could really be awesome. So but yeah, so this is my, my post-workout meal right here. Just gonna get it in and I feel good about it. I, do you feel good about the workout today? Feel good about the workout today. Mine was tough. Mine was really tough with those uh, quarter reps, a full rep to a quarter rep and like four count eccentric and holding and pausing. Like those, those really get difficult. Like the weights I was using were not a lot of weight as you can tell in the videos, but I was struggling because you have, you know, you're focusing more on holding that weight and not just pushing as much weight as you can. You're actually focusing on the form and in the eccentric movements so it was really tough today so gonna eat this and we got some stuff to do today